Today I am handling the lesson on affixes. अतः मैं affixes lesson देखा था मैं कराने वाला था एक uh, here here is the classification of affixes. There are uh, the affixes of two types called prefixes and suffixes. Affixes तो वो लोग आने वाले अब इधर पुलवां कैटेगराइज कराने वार्ग कराने कोटा से देखा करते prefixes उस It's hopeless," said Randy. "I'll never make it to the soccer game on time." Right. Then uh, here also you can find some words carrying suffixes or prefixes. We are to pay no attention. Samahar me me text ke kathulo we are to samahar vachin hoya ganna pulvan prefix se ka ke kona tan suffix se ka add vuno. What are they? I have highlighted them too. Mamma wa highlight kar lagti hai na ma. What are they? What are the two words I have highlighted here? The words carrying a prefix or a suffix. Prefix se ka ke hamat na itnam suffix se ka tiye na vachan e deka k mama highlight karna tiye na. Mona wa de words deka mona wa de vachan e deka. Yehu answer me. There should be an active participation from you, from your side. Can you all hear me? अहे ना वधो यार टम्बम खाता करना वा। उत्तर देने ना तू नाम बै है बै। Disorder and hopeless. Yes, disorder and hopeless. Good. Then uh, when we consider the word disorder, what is the prefix embedded there? मुखाद द मेक तीन ना prefix एक। I have even underlined it. This this is the prefix here. Prefix एक तो हमारे this किए नहीं कमी थे इंदी। Then uh, when we consider the next, the other word hopeless, what's there? The I mean the suffix. What's it? Yes, hopeless. Can you get any suffix? Eka. What's it? Less. Yes, good. Less is the suffix there. Right. My next slide. C. I can be likable," said Jake with a grin. "Grin means a broad smile. Grin ke alag hi ani hunda hina hina vak. Grin viritti ma hina vak grin. Likable means very pleasant, easy to be friendly, likable, prasanna. But here also you can see a word carrying a suffix. What's it? I have even highlighted the word. What's it? Likable, likable. In this word, likable, you can also see a suffix. We have to pay no attention. Likable, can you get the no suffix? Eka, mukhagde. Can you please identify well, it? Yes, a b l e, able, likable. Then shall we move on to the next slide too? That's nonsense," said his brother Jake. "Can you use my bike? You can use my bike." That's nonsense. Sense ke ani theeru me it indicates a certain meaning. Sense ke ani ke theeru ma adha hasa karthya kthiye na dea. Nonsense means kisi ma theeru ma kne thi dea vikaare kthiye ni ka. Nonsense. Kisi ma theeru ma kne thi dea. Then uh, when it comes to this word, here you can see a prefix. Added to the beginning of the word, root word. What's it? Nonsense. Can I say about any prefix? Say the name. Look at the prefix. Say. Me tell me the prefix. Say. Look at the name. Look at the name. Non. Non. Very good. Right. This is a small poem. Please go through it. And see whether you can identify the affixes there. Affixes means both prefixes and suffixes. 
බලමු මේ පොයම් එක කියවල ඔයාලට මේකේ තියෙන ඇෆික්සස් හොයා ගන්න පුළුවන්ද කියලා අපි Let's go through it. There are several stanzas. There are six stanzas. Little Tom Peter lay on sandy beach. He saw careless teacher who never came to teach. Martin the teacher was good at speech. Peter the waiter left silently the beach. Teacher was suddenly after Peter. already out of reach angrily the teacher went far from beach yes here can you please identify can you please discover the words carrying prefixes or suffixes balanna metana thiyenawada kiyala prefixes suffixes yedunu then yes what about your idea Yeah, yeah. Well, we'll move from the first stanza up to the end. Abi, how many stanza I came to learn? Little Tom Peter lay on sandy beach. Can you see any word wherein a prefix or suffix there? Sandy. Yes, exactly. Sandy. Sand. Sandy. Why? Why is the suffix there added to the end of the root word sand? Sandy, sandy beach. Little Tom Peter lay on sandy beach. Tom Peter, Hansi uh, Villa hitiya sandy beach chekak. He saw careless teacher who never came to teach. Then what about this stanza? In the second stanza too, you can see, you can view some or two exactly two. words carrying prefix suffixes what are they he is a careless teacher who never came to teach yes careless and teacher yeah exactly careless the other one is teacher care that is the root word care careless teach teacher ya dakka careless kiyanne no sala kilimat teacher who never came to teach kavadawa tu gannanna apu nathi the third stanza martin the teacher was good at speech here also the teacher is repeated and er is the suffix here teacher teach teacher no any new word carrying a suffix so we'll move on to the other stanza peter the waiter left silently the beach What do you think? Waiter, silent. Yeah, exactly. Waiter, the waiter, silently. Waiter, wait, waiter, silent, silently. Peter, the waiter, left silently the beach. Uh, Peter, Peter, क्या नहीं waiter क्या नहीं क्या he meet a साथ देना तो वो beach चकिंग गया. Teacher was suddenly after Peter. already out of reach what do you see what are the words carrying affixes here in this stanza yes suddenly come on yeah very good suddenly a teacher teacher suddenly not already a teacher teach teacher sudden suddenly suddenly is an adverb teacher hit hit him teacher ke passe anna gatta already out of reach he was already out of reach ya langa wenna bari tana ke wedde hiti out of reach the final stanza angrily the teacher went far from beach what do you see what's your opinion about this i mean the words there in some... sorry I'm sorry I couldn't hear you please repeat the same and angrily and teacher yes very good angrily the other one the repetition of the word teacher is here ne the repeat vela thiyena teacher kiyana wachane hama godak thang wala the new word is the new word we can find here is 
angrily, angry, angrily, adverb, an adverb, angry, angrily. Teacher Tarahin, dia be checking, go catheter. Yes, little Tom Peter lay on sandy beach. He saw careless teacher who never came to teach. Martin, the teacher, was good at speech. Peter, the waiter, left silently the beach. Teacher was suddenly after Peter, already out of reach. Angrily, the teacher went far from beach. Okay, we are moving on to the other slide. This is all about word building or word formation. Watch and head in a video. Come the kill tamay then up me balani. Yes. Take this one as the example. In this slide, the word help how the word unhelpful is formed is clarified. First, we have to get to the root word or the most basic form of a word to understand for, for in order for better understanding the word formation, the, in order for a better understanding of the word formation process, right? Unhelpful. First, you have to get to the root word. What is the root? Root kela kiyani gaha mula wage mukadda. Root kela api kiyani. The most basic form of a word. Vachanikatena saralama akarya. Basic ma akarya. The roots can stand alone without the help of the others. Root take a katatania mina pulua. Then apigatuti may unfull word parts katuti. They cannot stand alone without the aid of others. They may full unwage word parts apigano kote eva tania in the bear. Namut help kiyani root taker. Root taker taniya minna pulua. But the, the problem is that help cannot change their tense, change the tense of the word or the class of the word without the help of these prefixes and suffixes. Help kiyan root word taker taniya ma pavati na pulua munara tense tenses hadaddi saha. Word classes are the Nakota. A bit to Omana Venema, help Kenavach in Tamamitan Mampavichikaratina, Omana Venema, Menemi prefixes saha, suffixes kena, word parts vela, Udau. Help is the root word, then prefix is un here, and uh, the usage of the suffix is full, unhelpful. Well, the third and the root word decker, watch any Saralam Akare, the may help Kianika Mulima Ekatuena full, helpful. It would take adjective a cock, it becomes an adjective, it is modified into an adjective first, and then the word class remains the same. The word class is given a suck when in a hair. Then the prefix is added to the beginning of the word helpful. Helpful will a mulata un here then. Helpful, unhelpful, this gives a sense of negation, a negative sense. Yeah. Now, uh, this is the explanation or the definition of the word prefix. A prefix is a word uh, word part added to the beginning of a root word. Prefix a kak kela kiani, vachana kotasak, root teke, vachana root teke, mula teka to winner. We have already seen it, we have already experienced it here. Here, un, it is added to the beginning of the root word, helpful. Help. Helpful mula ta tamay me, edila ti enne. Helpful kena vachane. Mulat mug the full time muling ekatuelati venni eka venam subject matter ega productivity kiela equalata grade eleven well the woman have in in a hair helpful well mulata unkiana prefix a key dilatiana mul help helpful unhelpful
a prefix changes the meaning of a word. Prefix ekak king wenne wacana ka theruma wenas karana eka. Here from images are on display. Well, unwell. Here you can see the usage, usage of the prefix un. Well, sunny pawat. The dog do kak neti. Hunding in unwell roga tur. Sunny pawak neti. Here also the prefix un is added to the beginning of the word, word the root kind unkind karunika akarunika a sense of negation nate anarthe ak tamai den an lock unlock lock karanawa unlock lock eka iwat karanawa the usage of un the prefix un Now we are here in this slide. The prefix re is added to the beginning of this root word fill. Fill puravanama re indicates a sense of repetition. It means again. Navata navata kirima kriveling hangavani. Or a fill puravanama re fill navatat puravanama. Here we are moving on to the other one, other slide. Prefixes. This is an explanation in depth. And you can see how these prefixes indicate their meaning. Here I have written some prefixes which indicates negativity or a sense of negation metana balanne mal liyala tiyenawa negative prefixes keep ya an im in ir il then let's see how they can be used in words how they can be added to the word roots api balamu den kohomada roots walata meva add karanne kiyala wacana wala root root words walata api kohomada meva ekatu karanne kiyala balamu an unemployment rakiyawa virakiyawa rakiya virahita bawa kind unkind karunika unkind wenakota akarunika negative sense ekak denne negative natha yana therumak denne im impossible impatient possible haki impossible no haki patient Iva silivanta, impatient, no iva silivanta. In, indirect, inhumane. Humane, manushika, inhumane, amanushika. Ir, irregular, irreversible. Nevata yata tattwe ta gata no haki, irreversible. Reversible kya ni yata tattwe ta iti bunu tenta ma ganna pulu aang kya ni ka. Irreversible kya ni kota, ay perati bunu tattwe ta ganna bari. It indicates negation. Kaling kiwa bagay ma nehe net nete na arte akta may mayvain den ni. Then ill illegal illiterate literate kya ni? That can read or write. Kiya wan na liyan na pulwan sa akshar taave ak sahita. Illiterate means then uh, we are here we are moving on to the other prefix miss this indicates wrongly where the other where the other mean here i have written some instances misunderstand mistrust understand misunderstand when you understand something wrongly, you say you misunderstand something. Understand can it erungano, misunderstand, vardava terungano, trust, vishwasagano, mistrust can it, avishwasagano. That is how it's used. And here we are moving on to the other prefix, this. This always indicates opposition. 
Viruddha, viruddha arthi agden. It, they, uh, this makes opposites. Viruddha padatamaya making hadhani hunga akvela avata. Dishonest, honest, dishonest. Appear, disappear. Honest avanka, dishonest vanka. Avanka nati. That is the very opposite of the adjective honest. Disappear, appear, disappear, appear. Penin na patanga na disappear no peni anama. Then re. Re indicates a repetition, a sense of repetition. It means uh, doing something again and again. Mono hari dea nevata nevata kiri maktame re evening hangavani. Re correct, correct, re correct. Niveradikano, nevata niveradikano. Form, reform. Nevata pratisanskarnia karnava, reform. Uh, write, rewrite. Never tell you no. Do you know? Never tell you no. Rewrite. And this is my final example here with regard to prefixes. Anti. Anti means against. Irahiva. Tianika. Social, antisocial. Samaji, social, antisocial, samaji virodi. Then antibody. Body, antibody. Deha prati deha, antibody. And uh, another fact I would like to remind of is that prefixes do not modify the word class. Mama, Kamathi Mithindi Walta Tavadiak highlight karana prefixes well in word class like modify when in a hand. Instead, they change the meaning, they modify the meaning. A venuta megula karan prefix as swelling venne, te ruma venas karanica, then manguel to calling kiwa, then me un, in, in, ill, ill. May I hammer a kakama? Negative meaning nikak denne. What a sampoor name entirely different meaning. Sampoor name venas te rumak denne. Miskianic and Ron Likian idea aka denne, Varadava. What a opposite a kakadani. Meaning nika change venema, venas venema. This can again opposite meaning, opposite sadani. We do the arthala denni. Re again kianika kiani. Anti kianakota against. Erehiva kianikatamai kiani. The water sample name, theorum venas and bar prefix like a king. Theorum meaning a change kana kilopolanti pahadiliati. And here I would like to remind you of the fact that your connection will be interrupted in a few minutes. Please get reconnected once it is interrupted. Vinari the higher king with a podi mini to keep taking some hurry to a connection nigger interrupted. Vinati Layavi, the good upper hogola connect to inner mail in Kekaharaha. Eka Matakaran noni. And here we are moving on to the next slide. Dapila slide dekrayanava. This is all about suffixes. This is the definition of the word suffix. Suffix atak kiyala kiyani mukagd. Kiyani kitamai ilanga api kata karani. Yes, can you please mute your microphones? Yeah. If you are not answering me, you have to mute your microphones. Matika kata karana put a vitra mics on karana, it will like the mics off karanona, mada, a heavy lesson nigger. A bit. Yes. A suffix is a word part added to the end of the root word. Mamuel root, the kakila kian mukak the kila kiwa, kalin suffixes can a kata karadi theta kalinu. May again, then a prefix seka, pere and the makadiveni root word, the good kalin tamai prefix seka kad beni. And in this case, when we use suffixes, they are added to the beginning of the root word. Root word again. Sorry. Uh, here, uh, last time I uh, reminded of you the fact that prefixes were are added to the beginning of the root words. And here I am referring to the suffixes that uh, saying that uh, suffixes are added to the end of the root words. I hope that I was mistaken. I'm really sorry for that. Suffix uh, ekak samaning root word dekaka agata tamai ekatu veni prefix ekak perendu ma kama velaima vachane agata tamai ekatu veni. Metenden kam pehadili doyalata. 
Yes. What do you say? Yes, you have to tell me whether you have understood or not. Did it make sense to you? Nitin Tinakan Kira the Pika Pahadiri do Yalata? Yes. Okay. Then what about the others? Yes. Okay. What about the students from grade eleven C? Is it okay for you? 11 C, yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Can you understand? Yeah. Yeah. Good. Okay. Then uh, suffixes. They are of two types called inflectional and derivational. Suffixes varga dekakti enama. Inflectional suffixes, derivational suffixes kela. Inflectional suffixes do grammatical functions. Grammatical function ne ka khamila ma vyakarnaan kula deyakta mai karani inflectional suffix ke kiin. For example, we make plurals. We pluralize the nouns using the suffix s. It is an inflectional suffix. Ati pluralize karna kote bahu vachne haadano kote s ka khad karna ani the vachne agat noun ne ke agat. Girl, girls, tree, trees. Cat cats. On no is seker plural karadia pigan is seker eka suffix eka kaba eka word classes sadana derivational suffix eka nimi eka grammatical function eka karana suffix eka. We are karana vadakta maya have a line karani pluralize karaneka. Then uh, simple present is please remember. The fact that we use the singular verb with singular subjects in simple present. Well, the matter kathi api man kaling katha kara singular subject verb agreement kagana singular subject kaka kaka singular verb beka kyodani. And a singular verb when forming the singular verb, we need to use the suffix s, inflectional suffix s, to make the verb form. To form the verb phrase, in other words, when me simple present is sick, api use karani. Ekat api kiya na inflectional suffix se kake kat. Ekin karanat grammatical function ne ka. Simple present tense ke di, singular subject se ke ka vach nukte ane ka api priya pade re is sick tu karane ka. Ekat a is sick at inflectional suffix se kake na suffix se kake tamay hai ba ye ka inflectional suffix se kake. Then, what about this ed when we form simple past verbs? When we ed a simple past, Saralati the Kale Hadanakota with regular forms, regular verbs Hadanakota. Walked. Walk, walked. Work, worked. Right? ed. It is also a suffix, but uh, it, it is categorized as an inflectional suffix. Then present participle ing. Present participle. We informally call it ing form. Go going. Work working. You are listening to the teacher just now. Here, listening is the ing form. It is called the present participle. Eka tapi kyan present participle laga kiyala. Ing ekin karan ne. Eka suffix eka. It is also a suffix that does a grammatical function. Grammatical function ne kak karan ne. Anitto e deng man kata karapu anitte ya vage. Vya karana anukula sambandhya godna gaan ne. Then comparative adjectives er and superlative adjectives est. When we take this one, this word, tall, 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 taller, tallest. Taller is the comparative form, comparative degree of the adjective, while tallest becomes the superlative form of the adjective, the same adjective. Tall, taller, when you a comparative adjective, with a superlative adjective, with a tallest. Here, both ER, EST function grammatically. 
though they are suffixes. So they are called inflectional suffixes too. May what grammatical function ni kak ni karan ni adjective sada wala degree ek praman ya. Then tall gatho thin tall usai taller wada usai tallest ke in prusam. For a degree ek praman ek ko humda venas venya adjective ek ek. Yala hangavan na me ek grammatical function ni kak vya karna anu kula deya hangavan ni sa api may may api katha kar po kom suffix as well te kiya na ma. Then plural is. Simple present S, simple past E D, present participle I N G, comparative superlative adjectives E R E S T. We have inflectional suffixes in because they function grammatically. Eva grammatically function karna hind, the grammatical vedak karna hind, the vyakarna and kula vedak karna nisa. While derivational suffixes do the word building task or word formation process. Derivational suffixes mukada karna hind. They do the word building task. एक बोलो तमें वचन हाथ दाने। तेरे मां कालिंग कत्ता करा वागे, अपि कालिंग कत्ता करा वागे, unhelpful क्यों आत, unemployment क्यों आत। वो हम देख कर दिम बालान नो बोला, derivation of suffixes can modify the words into other word classes. Derivation of suffixes का किन तवत word एक वर्ड क्लास के कथित है ना वाचन है तब तक वर्ड क्लास का बहुत पाठ कराने पड़ूगा वाचन हाथ दाने पड़ूगा दे डू नॉट फंक्शन ग्रामेटिकल ये गोला ग्रामेटिकल फंक्शन ने काटने में कराने राइट व्हाट अबाउट दिस वन इस इट क्लियर टू यू ऑल मेरे को पहले दे दे यस यस व्हाट अबाउट योर आइडिया � Yes, teacher. Yes. Then uh, you can distinguish between the derivational suffixes and inflectional ones. Well, that's good. Then, when you say, "How do you know that one is the inflectional suffixes or the derivational suffixes?" Well, I. Full one is the derivational suffixes. Can you tell me? Yeah, we are going to make a talk. At your level, at this level, we are talking only about derivational suffixes, not. The not about the inflectional ones. वे grammatical function निका करने वगे ना अभी कताकरण ही नहीं है वे अलग ही मार्ट में ये दी दे eleven ten eleven वाला दी वे ten ten काम पहले ही नहीं दे Is it clear? Yes, teacher. Okay. Word formation with derivational suffixes. These are some examples. I have cited some examples here. Develop, development, kind, kindness, less, lesson, beauty, beautify, safe, safely. Here, the verb develop is modified into the noun development using the suffix ment. Ment. Develop ke ani verb beka word classical. Development word category का word class का नाम उन्हें कब बात पाते हैं ना month के ना derivational suffix का add दोनों का मां। The next point, the next one, kind, kindness. Kind is an adjective. It is modified into the noun using being you using n e s s n e s. Kind के ना adjective का kindness बात पाते हैं ना ness के ना suffix के। Here less becomes an adjective less can an adjective without and this adjective is modified into the verb using en using the suffix en lesson less adu lesson adu karanava aum karanava lesson beauty it's a noun and it can be modified into the verb using the suffix fy beauty beautify this is the most common example in clarifying how verbs are formed by using suffixes. Ugula dana verbs are gonna be gonna kata karabdi suffixes pavichikala make a buhama koma nuda harnia nitrama pavich venua beauty eka noun nika nama padia beautify if y ekatuela if y can suffix a derivation of suffix a kekatuela verb beka hadina verb category eka safe safely. Safe is an adjective and it's modified into the adverb using the suffix ly. 
the most commonly used ad, um, uh, suffix when forming the adverbs. Api dhanno ungaak pelavata adverbs, oi, visheshima manner adverbs. Aakare hangavana, manner eka, how, how, how is something done? Kohumada ka, yama kune, manner eka, aakare bakpana adjective sada di manner adverbs sada na kuda godaak pelavata mene me ly hiya na suffix ka dhamma use karani. Right. Here, I have used a diagram to teach you how the adjectives are formed using the suffixes, using the derivational suffixes. Here are some of the suffixes mostly uh, used in forming adjectives. Why able or I-B-L-E, full I-V-E, plus I C O I C A L. Me hunga hunga paavichhi vena. Adjectives hadan hunga akma pe use karana suffix asti ka kama mamme diagram ke ogana ne pehne lati yenni. Miss kya ne aul? Missy aul sahagat. Hair hairy hair candy kiss loam hairy candy sahit. Kiss ethy, responsible, lovable, affordable, A B L D I B L D, responsible, wagaki vayutu, affordable, vayakala haki, right. full, careful, painful, peaceful, careful, pravesham, full of kyanika, some poor, piru no kyanika, tamay full willing, then idea ik, painful, vedana vin, piri, vedana atmaka. Then IVE, explosive, creative, effective, create, creative, explode, explosive, effect, effective. Root words are effect, effective, create, creative, explode, explosive. The next one, less, less means it indicates without, rahitava. Pain, painless, Vedanava Krahit, Vedanava Knet, to home, homeless. In the hitting a Tanak Nati. Use, useless, Priochanak Nati. Then I see, O I C A L, poetic, biological, poetic, carvemer. Right. These are the most common examples I have cited here. Yes, here we are moving on to the suffixes that form adjectives. Apart from the above ones, I have put some others. I have displayed some others you can use to form adjectives. In detail, suffixes full a calling example like the tapi dekka beautiful, peaceful, full of kyanika idea, pirunu sahita kyanika less without kyanika hopeless, chaos. Then O U S continue, continuous, danger, dangerous. Those are the root words. Continue and danger respectively. Continue. Akanda pavatena pavatagena Continuous. Akanda. That is an adjective, right? These are the suffixes that form adjectives. Danger avadhanam, dangerous anathurudhaayaka. Then why, as we discussed about, sunny, rainy, windy, hairy, messy. Can you remember? In, the previous, in my previous example also, I cited out some uh, words like this. Messy, hairy. Then ISH, childish, foolish, childish, lama gati ati, foolish, moda gati tiyana, ISH. Those are adjectives. The root words are child, fool, respective. Those are my root words. Vachani mula, koeka, haraya, child, fool. Me examples for that. Then able, comfortable, valuable. Both the comfort and value become the root words accordingly. 
comfort value kiya ne wa me me instances wala root words wena wa a b l e is the suffix we have we have made use of to form the adjective friendly daily weekly here l y can be uh, can, uh, can be uh, considered as an adjective to apart from uh, a suffix that forms adverbs adverbs are the adjective suffix ek wagema l y kiyana ek l y kiyana suffix ek adjective ekak hadana suffix ek ekut wenawa balanne men me examples diha please take a closer look at these examples too friend friendly friend friendly mitrashili day daily dinapata week weekly then e n gold golden wood wooden wool woolen golden run in color wooden dava in color right then uh, i v e active attractive negative negation negative act active attract attractive in that way it uh, can be used to form adjectives then i c heroic hero veera vada heroic veera drama dramatic right then a l culture cultural politics political and africa african india indian africa is the root word india is the root word here in this uh, instance then a n t hesitant hesitate deg dia wen pasu wena wa hesitant deg dia wen pasu wana rely reliant e n t confidence confident confide confide vishwasa karana wa confident that is the adjective of the ver verb confide then different differ different differ venas wena wa different venas i b l e visible vision visible sense sensible therum gata haki e d talent talented interest interested interest unandu interested unandu athi talent hakiyawa talented hakiyawak athi i n g interesting i n g becomes a derivational suffix and they uh, it forms adjectives look at these examples interest interesting hard hard work hard work hard work hard work in hard work mahansi vela kana wede hard work eka hard work in mahansi vela weda karana like wage kiyana eka it indicates a similarity child like lame kwani lady like nona kenek wage lady like right here we are moving on to the next slide and it uh, clarifies how the suffixes uh, can be used to form nouns nouns are then api kohoma suffixes use karanne kiyala paavichi karanne kiyala meken kiyanne then uh, er and or play a major role in forming nouns noun sadana hunga khadanawa er or kina suffixes wale teacher worker sailor editor oy wage nata ism buddhism criticism criticize criticism here criticize vivechanaya karana criticism vivechanaya national nationalism nation national nationalism nation is the root word root word ekak wenne nation al kiyanne suffix ekak eken api adjective sadanawa ISM add karaham api noun ekak hadanawa national ke adjective ekata ISM ekatu karala api noun ekak hadanna puluwa nationalism IST environmentalist guitarist environment is the root word then then it uh, it is modified into environmental then once again it is modified into IST environmentalist the noun parisara vedia then t i o n and s i o n dictation decision dictate mona hari deyak api anakaranawa kiyawana vita liyanawa 
dictate. dictate. Dictation T I O N. Decide decision Both are both play a major role. Play a role in forming nouns. T I O N and S I O N. Then when it comes to nurse, it indicates a state. Kind kindness, karunika bhava, tatvaya. Dark darkness, andru bhava. Ill rogi illness, rogatru bhava. Then munt, develop, development. Move, movement. Move chalane venava, gaman karna, movement chalane. Ship, friend, friendship. Partner, partnership. I am saying the root word first in all these instances. Mamulimakyanime root word is friend, friendship, partner, partnership. Ship is the suffix here that forms the noun. Hood. Child, childhood. Lama Kale, Lama Avadi, brother, brotherhood. Then ITY. Act, active. Activity, IT, right? Forms a noun. Able, ability. TH, strong, strength. Grow, growth, vardhanaya. Grow, adhanaya, growth, vardhanaya. Loan, length. Then ENCE, confide, confidence. Exist, existence, pavatna. Exist, pavatna, existence, pavatna. ANCE, guide, magapenvanama. Guidance, maga penwin. Perform, performance. Perform is the root word. Rangadakpanava. Munoharidak itukarana. Perform. Performance. Rangadakwima itukirima. Then you are fail, failure. Expose, exposure. Ek, fail, asartakwena. Failure, asartak bave. Vima. Expose, niravarne kadnava. Exposure, niravarne kirima. Then E N C Y. Fluent fluency. Katanehi Dakshabhava. Efficient efficiency. Kadakshimatava. Then logi. Logi means science. Logi kelekan vidya vakyani. Adahaskarani. Bio biology. Psychology. Right? Then uh, here we are moving on to the suffixes that form verbs. Verbs are the suffixes that I may then apikatagarani. They will take the first one as the example. E N, short shorten, dark darken, wide widen, short keti. The adjective short can be modified into the verb using the suffix E N. E N ki ana suffix ke katu derivation ana suffix ke katu karapu gama shorten mena keti karana dark anduru darken anduru karana. Wide, pulul, widen, pulul, karanava. Then I is E, I is at E. This is a matter of varieties. Make a variety sambandha deyak. Whether you have to use I, S, E, or I is at E uh, is not just a matter. Both are correct. I, S, E is the British variety, while I is at E, the American variety. I, S, E, K, and the Britannic grammatical yanakota. I is an e gani American grammatical yanakota. In Sri Lanka, both forms are acceptable. Lanka me kram. I is e dalari uvat hari. I is a d dala verb kli uvat hari. Veradina. Sympathy, sympathize. Anukampa, anukampa karana. Globe, global, globalize. Globe, gole, global, goliya, globalize. Goliya karana, karana va. Right, then A T E. You may have heard this word vaccine for several times. The way I'll have the vaccine can watch in the middle of the fair and what I work a holiday in the pool one vaccine can you cut the yes. Yeah, very good vaccine can in the vaccine. V-A-C-I-N-E, vaccine, in the noun. Then vaccinate, when it comes to the word vaccinate, vaccinate, what do you mean? We add 
the derivational suffix ate to the end of this root word vaccine. Vaccine can root word ate add karna. One of the things vaccinate in the tag denawa. Neither in the tag with the Then different, differentiate. Differ, that is the root word. Different, ENT is added. And once again, ATE is added to form the verb. Differ, different, differentiate. ATE ekatuela, different kiana, adjective vegata, ATE ekatukarlapi. My final instance, final example here, FY, the suffix FY, beauty, beautify, the most common example I can cite uh, when explaining how the suffixes can be formed, how the adverbs can, uh, verbs can be formed using the suffixes, beauty, beautify, quality, qualify, simple, simplify, simple, Sarala simplify sarala karna beauty lasan beautify alankara karna. In that manner, you can use the suffixes to form the verbs. Then we are here dealing with suffixes that form adverbs. Then api katakarani me adverbs adana suffixes monavada kiela. The most common adverb, uh, the, the most common suffix we use to form adverbs is ly. LY ke ane kata maya apni hungak ma instances wala di hungak ma udahar ne wala di apni paavi chikarane quick quickly easy easily cold coldly this indicates a manner very often in most cases balana LY ke tu na hama manner adverb dekha goda kala wata hai denne quick ikman quickly ikmanin Sam went home quickly how did Sam go home quickly Sam get the gay home with money. Manner a kaka, a video hangavan, anything. Manner adverb the kakwena, Elva Yakutukaraham, who got Yes, we are moving on to the second one, second suffix word or words. Backward, backwards, pitupasat, upward, upwards. Here letter. Forward, forward, kibimukak. Yes, you know the very meaning of that word. Forward ki wama. Forward. Yes, very good. Come forward. This is hot in. Forward. Idriyat. Very good. Then wise. Clockwise. Or lo swekatuana pet. Grade wise. Shreni matamin. Class wise. You may have heard of those words very often. Ulo ahalati oi vachin hugak vila vila. Right. Now we are moving on to a small activity. I hope that you all have copied it onto your exercise books. What about your opinion? Have you copied this onto your exercise book? It's a small activity. This puzzle. Mangoyala te kiwa make exercise book ke gayi liya gan ke copy kar gan ke la mo kadu yala liya gan te tiye ne me me di. Hmm? Otherwise, you have to copy it. Yes, hmm? yes teacher. How many of you have copied it onto your books? Okay. If you have not copied it down, you have to copy now, just now. But uh, don't draw the puzzle. Puzzle the nepa. Just write the words. You can write in this manner. I mean, maybe the the first one down, the sixth one across, just put the numbers there in your book and write the word. I will give you some time, a few, only a few minutes. Take only five minutes to complete the task now. Binari Pahakin Balaname task at the Karana Here on this side, on your left side, roots are given, root words are given. They are on display. You can make use of them. Well, the pain of root words to come up the Ilatino, success, 
pain, use, honest, sleep, charge, similar, regular, paid, polite, selfish, correct. Those are the root words and these are the clues across uh, number six, not similar, like that. Then here, the clues downwards, pahalata, with success, the first one with success. For example, let's consider the first one down, downwards. What do you think? The first one with success. Here are the root words and you have to make the word, form the word out of the roots, root word. You have to first identify the root, the, the most suitable one. Mulima root with success ki ena kote sarthak 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 atyo kathuva. first one downwards. Ito kote palaveni balan pahala to kuhum denni ki ena root word ka ganno na mukha gapi. Yes, very good. The root word becomes success. You have to add the suffix full to form the very word successful. The first one downwards, successful. Right. The second downwards, unable to do something. Unable, no hacky, yamakal no hacky. Preojanayak nati, unable to do something. What's the word? The second one downwards here. Useless. Very good. Useless. Use is the root word or the root or the base. You have to add full to form the word, to form the adjective. Useless. Then uh, the other prefixes and suffixes include un, dis, im, in, ir, under, re, over, full, less. Why take a tamay apri pavi chikarana pulvam? Me pasal like a menu in pavi chikarana pulvam prefixes and suffixes tigger. Then number three downwards, the third one. Here, sleep too much. Or own amount of ready any dagana. Dampi. Oversleep. Yes, very good, fantastic. Oversleep. Over can excessively can occur. And up you think feed cam cover never cam then ever. Overfeed can own out of ready a kind of Weight bar in ready. Overweight can put a bar in own out of the ready. We overweight. It's an method. Sleep too much when I go to sleep, oversleep. Then the fourth one downwards, not selfish, generous. Not selfish. You have to make use of a negative suffix, negative prefix actually here. Un, im, in, ir. You have to choose from this list un, im, in, ir to form a negative, say, to give a negative sense. What do you unselfish. think? Yeah, very good. Unselfish. Then number five, opposite of honest. Opposite. You can form the uh, opposites with the aid of what? Munwa in the mini api the mankaling katakra opposite sadhana pulwa metike. Sorry. Yeah. Dishonest. Very good. Fantastic. Then number seven, opposite of correct. Correct. It gives the negative sense to. Negative sense ka then nam puluang ewa chaning at the dama. Incorrect. Incorrect, exactly. Incorrect. Then number nine downwards, not enough paid. Not enough paid. Harriet 
gevimak no karana. Not enough paid, not up to the level. It indicates under, under, underpaid. Number nine, downwards, underpaid. You may have heard of this uh, usage, the underpaid estate workers, uh, the underpaid factory workers, factory workers. Then uh, across. Number six, across, not similar. It makes even the opposite of the word similar. Yes? What forms opposites? Not similar. similar. Sorry? Can you please repeat? In similar? No. Dissimilar. Dissimilar. D I S. Dissimilar. Then uh, number 10 across, opposite of regular. It even gives the negative sense. Negative irregular. irregular. Yes, very good. Irregular. Then number 11, without pain. Without means. Rahit. Without. It is indicated by less. The suffix less. Then what should be the word? What should be the adjective? Yes. Painless. Very good. Painless. Number 12, the last. Number 12 across. Not polite. Rude. Polite. Ne. Impolite. Impolite. Very good. I M P O L I T E impolite. See whether you have replied me correctly. Balan Hari to Uttaradira the Kela. See whether your answers are correct. This is my answer key. This is how I have solved my puzzle. Yes, this is the end of today's session. I have reached the conclusion of my lesson now. Then uh, before that, I need to have your feedback. Uh, what do you think about today's lesson? Nang hita na may grammar may part ka ay yah may tiko gan na niyo yah lata. Hmm? It's not without a purpose. Aramunak tiya na ay yah may kugan na ni. When you face your exam, you may come across the uh, the questions like these. The application of these parts. Ogolonta men may apply karana then a kotas tianama, vibhagedi. Yedim, anneni sata my word classes, kianika, ogolangi paper, ekaka kotasa. Kale name then in a haika, Tavad deva leka, combine karla then a puluang. I think any sai make kotasa, mama, never again knew at the tama. 